and hello YouTube, JS Mouse Smart here. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to see all the specs on your computer, all of your devices, all of your drivers, and even the very specific parts of your computer, such as the audio card, the video card, the CPU that you have, all the very specific specifications of your computer. We'll show you how to get all of that very easily today in this video. Hey everybody, GS Man Smart here today with another brand new video for tutorials with GS. Welcome back to another video. Glad to have you. And if you happen to be new to the channel, new to my videos, I want to welcome you as well. But I also encourage you to subscribe to the channel because we have plenty of other software tutorials, Windows tutorials, tech tutorials on the channel, video editing, audio editing, image editing, all kinds of cool stuff. So I encourage you to press that subscribe button as well as hit that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the recent videos. Now, if you've ever been curious of how to find all the information from your computer say you just got a computer and you don't know what specifications you have even though you probably should know what specifications you have but say you wanted to check that all the specifications are there how would you go about doing that well it's actually very easy if you head to your start menu and this pretty much goes across the board for all operating systems whether you're running on uh, Windows XP Windows Vista Windows 7 Windows 8 or 10 uh, if you go to your control panel you'll find there is a section called system and you can just search the control panel in the top right corner here and when you press the green hyperlink to the system this will show you the general information of your computer it won't show you all the information it'll show you your operating system what version you're on it'll show you uh, what brand your computer is as you can see mine is a Dell it'll also show you a few other things about the computer such as if you're running a 64-bit or a 32-bit version it'll show you how much memory RAM you have and it will also show you your CPU along with your CPU speed so you can get a good amount of information from this little panel here and if that's sufficient enough for you that's all you have to do however if you want to see what kind of drivers you have if you want to see uh, more information on some of the USB devices that you have plugged in then you can very then you can very easily go to the device manager and to get to that all you gotta do is click device manager on the left here and this will pop up your device manager you can also search it in the control panel or if you want to get to it very quickly you can go ahead and hit the Windows key and the R key which will bring up the run command and then in here you can type dev mgmt dot msc and that will bring up your device manager like this. And in this window, you pretty much have a bit more information. You have your uh, video cards right here under display adapters. You also have your firmware. You have Bluetooth. You ha even have your wireless adapter, which will be under the network adapters here. And a few other information as well, such as the things that are connected to your device, any sound uh sound devices that are connected here's my microphone as you can see so a lot more information here in device manager as well but if you want to take an extra step deeper into your operating system and get even more information even more specifics you can also press your windows key one more time and type in dx diag and this will show uh, one of the processes you can run on the operating system that will give you a full list of everything on your computer in a notepad file. You can also press the Control R. You can also press the Windows and R key to bring up the Run command again, and just type in DX Diag here. Press Enter, and the same window will pop up. Now, as you can see, before you do anything, they do give you a bit more information here. Uh, if you head over to Display, they give you all the display information. A lot of the information you see here, you'll also find in the notepad file. Now, if this is all the information you need right here, then great. But you can also click save all information at the bottom here. And this will basically load up a notepad file with all your computer's information and specifications. Then we can go ahead and save that. We're going to save it as dxdiag.txt. And then we can go ahead and open notepad up. We can go to file, open, and we can go to dxdiag.txt. And as you can see, here are all of our specifications for our entire computer. Uh, not only do we have our memory, our RAM, the processor, the BIOS even. We even have what version of Direct, Direct X we're on. We have all of our dialog notes. We have all of our display devices, how much memory our display devices is, the screen resolution of our screen, how many hertz our screen is. We have all the audio devices as well. 
we have to scroll down to audio. Let's find audio sound devices. Here you can see uh, what sound device I'm currently using. I'm using the Yeti stereo microphone. So as you can see, each section is divided up uh, by a little label like this, sound devices. You see display devices in general. And they have tons and tons of stuff here. So this is probably the most detailed and most accurate information you can get off of your computer if you want to know all the, spe all the specifications from it. And uh, I use this all the time when I'm trying to figure out what my computer has or I'm trying to figure out what a friend's computer has. So it's very useful and it's very easy to get to as well. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it informative and now you know how to get all the information from your computer. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, if you know of a better way to get the system information in a quicker way, go and leave a comment down below as well. It'll be helpful for all of us. And if you want to check out a recent video that I uploaded, you can click the annotation here. If you want to check out another video that might interest you that's similar to this one, you can click the annotation here. If you want to go and check out my vlogging channel, gaming channel, or other channels, click the annotation here. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page, you can click the annotation here. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is GSMalismart, and I'll be back soon. You think? Don't go anywhere.